Hey everyone. I'm sorry it's been such a while since my last video, but I've been very busy with work and lots of things going on at home, and it's uh, difficult to never get any real quiet time except for late at night, and I just haven't had the chance lately. But um, I'm back, and I will hopefully be doing videos as often as I can. Uh, give the opportunity to do so. Uh, this one is um, just to share a couple of recent purchases that I thought you might appreciate. Um, my birthday's coming up soon, so I thought I would treat myself. This purchase here is from the Louis Vuitton Boutique, and this one is from eBay. But as you can see, it's also Tear there in the material. It's nice to actually get the box for something that you buy from eBay. It's pretty unusual. Neat Louis Vuitton boxes make some nice sounds too. Go with the eBay purchase second. So we'll leave that aside for the moment. So this is the item I purchased from the Louis Vuitton boutique. And in case you're wondering about the change in color decided to switch from manual mode to automatic. I think it looks a bit better. I normally don't use it when I shoot with this camera if I'm going to be using the camera's audio, but since I do have my little microphone set up there, I don't think I need to worry about it. At least everything will be what I need. small box. And my receipt. I bought two items. I'm returning one of them tomorrow. I'm not going to give anybody anything small item with mm, a leather strap. 
crappy thing here. Uh, this was tied a bit nicer <laughs> when I bought it. When I bought it, but I had already opened up this box, so I suppose in some respects you could consider this a role play of an unboxing. edition mini pochette for this year. I think they're called trunks and cases for this series. And um, this is a monogram print. Comes with a nice little strip. and shiny the strap is. It's like faceted along the edges. And then the um, all the attachment points there's like a almost like a rubberized or plasticized coating on the metal so it doesn't chip when you wear. Let's see. Okay. So we have Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Side brown interior and there's my I don't know what do you call it serial number I don't know I think it's a serial number date number date number that's what they call it okay so this one's called Mini Pochette Monogram Inventory. And tells you how the fabric is made out of. Co 
cowhide fabric, cowhide leather trim. fits inside it. As I said, I've already been carrying this around, so this is a role play of an unboxing, not a real unboxing. So let's take a look what we carry. This is my Mac Prep and Prime. Lip. Let me see if it says what it is. It's a lip primer. Want to try that? Once you have the lip primer on, you, um, you leave it set long enough until your lips get tacky, they'll get sticky, a uh, little tackiness, and then you apply your lipstick. This is MAC, the nude lipstick, and it is color Cream Machine. Peach Blossom. Blue Fairy Three. Okay. See, and there was it. I like nude lips. And this is it's a little, it's like almost my lip color. A little bit darker so it doesn't blank me out completely. But it's nice for work. I'm not really a big makeup person. Like, pr I could practically fit all of the makeup I own in this bag. Because I wear lipstick, lip primer, mascara, and mascara. And all I use for mascara is your basic Maybelline Great Lash, which I might try something else soon, but I have extremely sensitive eyes, and lots of mascaras really bother me. band-aids because you just never know when you might need them. And a pen. One of my favorite pens. Pilot G2. seem to read at all. I'm going to draw on the back because I would like. There we go. Pilot G2. Um, I almost always use the, the 1.0 or 10. I don't know what to call that, but 
that's almost always the one I use because I like a thicker line and I just like the way it writes better. what we got so far and ibuprofen for headaches and I keep the big ones in here this is a 600 milligram ibuprofen Only a few in there right now. It's like new and loved Tic Tacs practically. Okay. Maybe in there too. And <coughs> Zyrtec. Only two left in here. Um, dust allergy issues. Some of my early videos you probably heard me clearing my throat a lot. That's because of allergies. I try and take it out of most of my videos because it's a very annoying noise. But when I first started making videos, I didn't really notice. Um, I sometimes have to use these at work because we have serious, um, serious air issues in the office. It's ridiculous. And dental floss. I don't like to brush my teeth in public bathrooms. It's really disgusting to watch people do that. Um, but sometimes you just need to floss. So I figured I'd really miss my compromise. Um, I guess that will fit in there. Yeah, that'll fit in there. bought a crossbody chain off eBay because uh, I didn't want to pay $200 for a strip of leather or a strip of canvas from Louis Vuitton. So I bought one for $50.99. So when I go to Disney World later this month, I can just run around with park passes in my wallet in this bag and 